Hi, I'm the Grow Boss. I write the Grow Book and Equipment Guide, and this is Cannabis Hotline, a show where we can talk about anything cannabis that we want. I own a hydro store in Las Vegas, and I get a lot of calls, I get a lot of customers, and instead of doing the videos that are highly scripted, and they're all edited and ready to be viewed because we're giving out so much information, Cannabis Talk is a lot less formal and a lot more fluid, and it lets me sit down in front of a mic and the camera and give you information in a different kind of a way. Because yesterday, I had a customer call me and try to sell me a grow box. And I don't know if you know what these things are, but the number one way to fail growing cannabis is if you spend your money buying one of those piece of shit, super expensive grow boxes. Because I guarantee you, there's no better way to fail than if you spend an enormous amount of money trying to grow cannabis and fail. If you just spend a little bit, hey, you failed, it's not that bad. But when you spend an enormous amount of money, and when I say enormous, literally, like I'm talking like this stuff here, these these grow boxes, some of these things are like five, six, seven thousand dollars for this nonsense. And they do not work. I assure you that they do not work. In all my experience of running a store, owning a store, and growing for a decade, grow boxes don't work. And I'll explain to you why that is in a minute, but for now, what I really want you to understand is that 99% of growers that start growing fail. And it's always for the same reason. You do too much. You make this all about you instead of growing cannabis. And this really this really hit me yesterday when somebody called me and tried to sell me their $2,000 grow box. They, I wouldn't take it for $100. I wouldn't put it in my store because they take up so much fucking room and they don't work. And I'm going to show you why they don't work in a minute. But there's been a, a, a couple of articles out about a product called, a product called Leaf. This is an auto plug and play system. And it's another spectacularly expensive piece of growing shit that will guarantee you to fail growing pot. And even if you finish, by fail I mean you have to grow cannabis for less than you could buy it for on the street. Not even at a facility or a dispensary or where it's legal, whatever it is. You have to be able to grow your medicine cheaper then you can buy it. And there is no way to do it with these systems. So sit back, relax. It's about 25, 30 minutes of the show. And I'm going to go over all the reasons why these super expensive POS grow boxes don't work. Because there's no need for you to spend your money on this kind of shit for this kind of money. When you could buy Something like these two or three tents like these in my videos, where for $100 a tent, $200 a light, the probability of you having success increases. And of course, if you have any questions or you want to talk more, you can go to the garden hotline where you can call me. We'll talk direct. It's $49 an hour. You can email me pictures and I'll help you straighten out your garden. And we've even got these new Club 15 t-shirts for those of you guys that are knocking it out of the park they're on my website too you can pick it up on the growboss.com now let's talk more about these grow boxes and i'm going to prove to you why these grow box worthless piece of shits are irrelevant when growing cannabis because there's a couple of ways to grow cannabis one of them is a screen of green like this where you veg your plants for four weeks and then you flower for eight. And when you look at these pictures, when you look at this picture, you can see there's 15 plants per two lights. There's two pounds per light. That's about a quarter pound a plant. And the plants finish about this big, right? They look about this big around. You can see there's 15 on the table. You get about a quarter pound a plant. Now, <clears throat> let's go back to the super failure auto leaf product and here we go. If that guy's growing a plant this big and he's getting a quarter plant, quarter pound of plant, what the fuck do you think you're going to get from this box? And I got to tell you, I don't believe those are cannabis plants because that's not how cannabis grows. Even if you were to grow 
a clone. See, this box assumes, by putting the two little plugs where you put the plants in, this box assumes that you can have a cutting. Because if you start from a seed, where are you going to put it in this box? How are you going to start it? You're going to transplant it? And how does this box know if you have an indica or a sativa? How does it know if you have a slow growing plant or a fast growing plant? And while I tell you growing cannabis is easy and I really don't care which strain you have, the reality is there's a difference between them. So when we look at this picture here, I'd like to point out that it's a four week veg. And frankly, I don't care if you do a four week veg or you look at these plants and you see you do a 10 week veg. The reality is you have to grow a certain amount of canopy to get a certain amount of yield. And you cannot in this, so I'll give you one more example. Here's a guy who's got 49 plants per thousand watt light. These are all clones. They've been vegged for three days and then flowered for eight weeks. And that's gonna be important in a minute. And each one of these tops is its own plant. So these are clones that are grown just like you see in the, in the, in the refrigerator video. These are clones just like that and they run about two feet tall the top 18 inches is going to be one bud and the bottom they don't bush out they don't branch out but it requires a lot of space see in this particular case when i say it requires a certain amount of space to get a certain amount of yield if you this is a five by five space right there so if you have a let's say a four by four space then you're only gonna be able to get a pound dry because it takes a five by five space to get a pound and a half. And if you only have a two by four space, you're only gonna get a half pound dry because it takes a certain amount of space to get a certain amount of yield. And you can't put two apples where only one will fit or they'd grow one apple tree and feed the world. So you can't get twice the yield in half the space and it takes a certain amount of light to get a certain amount of yield. And I don't care how many plants you grow. Again, you could grow 49 plants per light. You could grow three big plants per two lights. You could grow 15 plants per two lights. The only thing that changes is veg time. So again, when you're looking at this system, what we're really talking about is veg time. And if you're gonna flower a clone in a sea of green, you're going to veg for three days and then you're going to flower for eight weeks. And when you're flowering for eight weeks, because you don't have, because you don't have a second tent, where are you going to put your veg? Which is where, which is why these guys and these systems like these things, they think they're going to get you to grow cannabis, which you're going to try, but they think that you're going to be successful. And what I really like to point out is a lot of times when you, a lot of times when you grow cannabis, you'll see products like this. This is a Phototron. This was a product from the seventies, but the reality is they don't usually show it with cannabis in there. And when they do, it's not budding. Why? Because it's this big, it's two and a half feet, three feet tall on the inside and this big around. What are you gonna put in there? I mean, according to this, according to this, you can only put two little clones. So if it requires this much plant to get that quarter pound, even if these two little clones in a sea of green got you a quarter pound, that's four ounces. Street value, 220 bucks. 880 total. This thing is way beyond, well beyond 880 bucks. And for 880 bucks, there's no place for you to put a clone to continue to grow it where something like this for four or 500 bucks, you'd put a clone in veg, you'd veg them and you'd flower. And in eight weeks, take the plants out of veg and you put them in flower. But suddenly we come here to these grow boxes. And I, what I'd like to do is I'd like to try to apply the same thing. Because when you look at Google, when you look at this image, is how a pot plant grows. It's this big around. That plant only has a four week veg. So there's no way you're going to be vegging in any of these systems because well, cannabis grows like a fucking weed if you do it right. And how are you gonna put a plant like this into a space like this? There's no way.
Okay, now keeping that in mind, let's see what happens when we spend $6,000 to do the same thing, because I'd like to apply the same logic here. See, this system is split into a couple of pieces. One of the pieces is, is cuttings. That's down here in the corner. Then you veg them here, and you transplant them into flower. First, if you're going to flower plant, it requires twice the space because it's going to get twice as big, which means you also need twice the light. So if you veg X plants and they get twice as big, you better have twice the space or you better only transfer half the plants into flower because they're going to double. And when I say double, remember, look at how big this plant is. So if you have one little hole, how are you going to put another veg hole right next to it? I mean, that plant's this big around. How are you going to put two holes this far apart? And I say that because this system right here has three hydroponic systems. And if you notice here in veg, it looks like a 48 site cloner. It does not look like there's as many starts going here. And it definitely, they looks like the same amount here in flower that there is in veg and this is important because if they get twice as big in flower wouldn't you need half as many and you definitely can't put the holes that close together because if the plants get this big how can the holes be this close the plants would run into each other so if you have and, and that's not even the worst part because the next thing i'm going to tell you is is just the absolute reason for the failure in the system See, if you're going to flower for eight weeks, that means you have to deal with veg for eight weeks. Because if your veg is done in four weeks, where the fuck are you going to put the plants if you're only halfway through flower? So, when you have a sea of green, and a sea of green, of course, is, um, of course, is this. A sea of green is this when you have a sea of green and you have lots of plants and what we're talking about is what this guy is doing with his auto failure system is this is a sea of green there's a three-day veg time because if you veg for four weeks you're going to end up with a plant like this and so where are you going to put it okay now that you know veg time is related to plant count the bigger the veg <laughs> the fewer you need let's take a look at the system again because if you take your cuttings from flower and you put them down here and they root I, I tell you in the videos it's four weeks but here's a hydro system like a turbo clone so three weeks so you're gonna have them in there for three weeks if you have your cuttings in there for three weeks you still have five weeks to go before the flower side is done I've already showed you what happens when you veg for four weeks. You grow a plant this big, and you're going to be vegging for five weeks. That's one plant this big, and they have, dude, they've got like 40 fucking plants in there with a five-week veg. With 40 plants, let me just remind you what 40 plants, this, this guy is doing 15 plants per two lights on a four-by-eight table. How do you in any way expect to do a five-week veg in a space that's as big as your pocket? But more importantly, when you do a sea of green, there's no veg time. You take the plant out of the rooter, you put it in flower, you might veg it for three days, but you still have seven weeks and four days to go before that plant is done flowering. And they get big during flower. I mean, even this guy, even this leaf guy, who's so impressed with his own system. Oh, I love this one. Oh, shit, you just have pot growing in your living room. Dude, when you come in my store, I can smell an eighth in your pocket. How are you going to keep four ounces hidden? That's eight, 32 eighths. I can smell an eighth in your pocket when you come in my store. There's 32 eighths in here. How are you going to hide that? And I know this guy wanted to solve a problem. And he's got it on an app. He's got this thing. It's controlled by phone. What's this? Oh, you're in an office? Oh, you got your office? Oh, shit, you're growing cannabis in your office. No one will ever know, except for the smell. 
and the noisy thing running in the back because you got to have a fan. I love the fact that it's got a little camera because that's that's important when growing cannabis. And I know this guy really is really excited and he's really proud of it. And I know there's a lot of investors that are giving this guy money, but I'm telling you, they don't know how to grow cannabis. They don't grow cannabis because if you grew cannabis, you would never buy this. In fact, you would probably laugh at this like I do because again, here's a Phototron and here's a Phototron and these things are about five feet tall. Um, uh, they usually have a picture with someone standing next to it. So here's Phototron. These things are like five feet tall, same height as the leaf. So you can see what's possible to put in a leaf. I mean, the guy shows you that's how much you can grow in one of these things. And that's not four ounces, I assure you, because eight ounces is a two by four space, two feet deep. If you want to grow eight ounces, you have to grow a two by four space, two feet deep. And if you want to grow a pound, you have to grow a four by four space, two feet deep. And if you want to grow a pound and a half with a thousand watt light, you have to grow a five by five space. I don't care about veg time. The shorter the veg, the more plants. You can do something like this with 98 plants per two lights with a three day veg, maybe one week, but that's it. Just requires more plants. And then if you want to veg a little longer, okay, you'll do 15 plants per two lights. And if you want to veg a little longer, you'll do three plants per two lights. But my point is cannabis grows like a fucking weed. And if you think you're going to take some nonsense POS like this, and let's be clear, when we look at this one, they have the veg and the cuttings next to it. And I don't know which one is which, but if you were to put the cuttings in here, then you don't have enough plants for flower. And if you were to put the veg, the cuttings in here and you veg here, you have four times as many, eight times as many cuttings as you're supposed to have. And when you put them up here, how are you possibly going to grow that many next to each other? Even in a sea of green. Remember, even if you do a three day veg, they're going to get big. And if this fool says that it requires this much space to grow that, take those two things and try to fit them in here. Okay, maybe you'll get four. Maybe you'll get six. But if it takes a two by four space to grow a half pound dry, you do not have eight square feet in this veg. And you don't have the height. And more importantly, if LEDs are super bright and focused, then you're going to have too much light in this space. And you're in hydro. And what's the difference between hydro and soil? Well, if it takes eight weeks to flower in soil, cocoa, it takes seven weeks to do it in hydro because hydro is quicker. You don't get more. You just get the same amount more often. So in hydro, you get seven harvests a year. In media, you get six. But if even one fails, in hydro, you should have done media because if one fails in hydro, you're still going to get six in the year. And if you get six harvests a year, and if hydro grows faster, then the plant must grow faster. So what I tell you guys is in media, cannabis grows 35 watts a week. So if you have a four week veg and an eight week flower, you finish in about 10 weeks. Uh, that's 350 watts, 400 watts. If you don't have any veg time, let's say you just veg for three days and then you flower for eight weeks, cannabis still grows 35 watts a week, eight weeks times 35, you finish in, you're in about what, 260 watts, 300 watts. If you grow in hydro, cannabis grows 50 watts a week. So if you have a four week veg and an eight week flower, you're going to need 600 watts worth of light. You're also going to need a two by four space, two feet deep to get that yield. And so you're also going to need half the space and veg, the plants. And so what I'm suggesting here is that if you grow in hydro at a rate of 50 watts a week, how the fuck are you going to veg down here? Because remember, if you're doing a sea of green, it's an eight week flower and a three day veg. So if this is eight weeks up here in the top half, same thing here. If this is eight weeks up here in the top half, same thing here. If this is eight weeks up here in the top half, then you have to ask, why is veg the same size? 
Why does veg have the same light? And what happens when it runs out of light? Because if this is an eight week process and you're doing 35 watts a week, 260 watts, if you have a hundred watt or a 200 watt light, um, one, you're not going to get a 400 watt yield because one, you're not in a 400 watt space. Two, you don't have 400 watts worth of light. So if you have 200 watts worth of light, <coughs> you're going to get four ounces. Four ounces is $220 each, $880 street value. This is a $900 system. So not only are you not going to get eight ounces, you're not going to get dick because that's not how cannabis grows. And so you can spend the money on this, but the reality is they don't have any cannabis in the pictures. And when you look at Google, these guys with the small systems, they generally don't put cannabis flowered because here's one plant in a phototron. If it doubles in size, well, you done run out of room. So here's one with an LED. Yeah. That's that's pretty brutal. If you notice the leaves, you can see they're cooked from the light. But again, all of that money for two plants like this. So even if you did finish, and I'm totally wrong, and you can veg in is even better, right? I love this one because now they've got buckets of media. And so you're going to be on the flower side for eight weeks. So even if you're on the veg side, let's just say I'm wrong. And you are going to get the yield. So you get four ounces in eight weeks. And you get four ounces every eight weeks. That's $880 that you saved every eight weeks. It's a $4,500 system. This one here is $6,000. It's going to take you eight. It's going to take you six, eight harvests just to get your money back from the system. And that's two months, eight harvest times two months is 16 months. It's approaching a year and a half. And that's not how cannabis grows. You can't do it. And if you grow in hydro, it's faster with less light. So they give you less light, a faster system in a sea of green rotation. And that's not how sea of green works. And, and I really do feel bad for this guy because this looks like some guy who really thought he saw a problem. And he's going to solve it. And he's going to solve it with technology. But the reality is technology isn't an artist. And while gr there is some science to growing cannabis, it's an art too. And if you put something on a timer, an automatic schedule like this guy has with his phone, where you can do all drip and everything, then you have to ask yourself, what happens if there's a problem? Does this box recognize a problem? What happens if it's humid for four days where you live and the plant doesn't sweat because it's humid? This thing's just going to water it. And what happens if um, it overwaters and it rots the roots? Will it know to underwater? And does it know that plants want less light in the beginning and more light later on? Does it know these things? And the reality is after all that, when it comes right down to it, if it's growing in hydro, because I don't see any media, if it's growing in hydro, if it's growing in hydro, then you have a faster system and no light. And remember, there's no air conditioner in this, so you can't put any light that makes a heat. And if you make heat, you can see there's a little vent spot in there. You still have to buy a fan filter. So how much stealth do you think this really is? Because you can see the vent hole. There's no fan filter. So here's a guy growing in his office. They cleverly don't put the fan filter in there. They got a little thing up there. They got a little side to suck the air in. But there's no filter in there. I can smell an eighth in your pocket when you come in my store. And the reality is cannabis is super easy to grow. The hard part is learning how easy it is and that the less you do, the more you get. Because in my observation, here's a picture with thousand watt lights. The plants are five feet tall. And if you notice, the lights are five feet away. And when I show you, 
like in my 99 plant series with the Bushmaster. Here is 2,000 watt lights. They're in an 8 by 20 space. Each light is in an 8 by 10 space. That's a 1,000 watt light in 80 square feet. And the plants are 3 feet deep. And there's like 20 of them. That's a thousand watt light in the light mover. And while you can't tell in this, there's still a hot spot because the hood's too big and you're not moving it completely off the plants. And here's another example of the Bushmaster. Oh, no, that's me. Here's another example of the Bush. Here's an eight by 10 space, one 1,000. You can see the old space in the back. 20 plants, eight by 10. So this is what a thousand watt grows as an eight by 10. So a 500 watt would be a four by 10, half the space. And a 200 watt light would be a four by five. I'm oh, sorry, 250 watt light would be a four by five. And so a 200 watt light would be like a four by four, just according to this, you know, with a light mover and all that. But the reality is that's not how this works. And when you look at this, um, I don't even know how many watts that is, and I really don't care. If cannabis grows at 35 watts a week, even if you veg for one week and flower for eight, you're into this for nine weeks. Nine times 35 is 300 watts. So that better be 300 watts. The question now becomes is, if you put 300 watts at the end of flower, after 10 weeks, 35 watts a week for 10 weeks, if you, nine weeks, if you put 300 watts at the end of flower, then in week one, you better be at 30 watts because I assure you a week one plant does not want the same light as a week 10 plant. And if plants actually grow, if cannabis actually grows as big as I say it does, and it does. Okay. So that's seven plants that I'll never finish. If plant, if it, if cannabis actually grows as big as I say, then how the fuck are you going to put a plant like that? into any of these systems. Again, look at this system. There's four holes in that bucket. By definition, it's meant for a sea of green. If you do a sea of green in here, you have to have four plants, which is fine. But if four plants fits in that space, then how come, how come Boy Wonder here only has two? And if two looks like this, where would you put four? One in front and one behind? And remember, yield is based on light. So if you have a 200 watt light, you're going to get a 200 watt yield. I don't care how many plants you have. You can, again, you could put three plants under a thousand and you're going to get the same yield as 15 plants under 2000. Three plants under 2,000, you're going to get the same yield as 15 plants under 2,000 or 98 plants. Why? Because yield is based on light and quality on grower talent. And I don't care if you put a 1,000 watt in a little tiny space. You can see just by this picture, this is 2 by 4, half pound dry. This is 4 by 4. One pound dry, 600 watts. This is five by five, one and a half pounds dry. Two by four, four by four, five by five. Three times the area, three times the light, three times the yield. Plant counts are relevant. You just have to fill up the space because I don't care if you do it with 98 plants, 15 plants or three plants. The reality is veg time is a relationship between the height of the space that you can grow and your final light. Because if you veg a 400 watt plant and then you flower it with 400 watts worth of light, then how can it double? The canopy merely moves up, but a plant can't double in size because 400 watts grows 400 watts. And if you want to double, you need 600 watts. And if you want to triple, you need a thousand watts. And this is my observation of why the number one way that you can fail and remember, 99% of people that start this fail. Even if you finish, if you spent 500 bucks to get the same yield, well, not in this case, sorry. If you spend $6,000 to get the same yield that I'm suggesting that you would get with $1,000 equipment and a much higher probability of success, if you spend $6,000 and you get the same yield, which you won't because you don't have enough space and you don't have enough light. But if you spend $6,000 and you 
don't get the yield and you don't have the space and you don't have the light and you don't have the right rotation, then even if you finished, even if you got the yield that was possible from a two by two space, which is like a quarter pound, even if you got the yield that was possible, you spent $6,000 for four ounces. So where most of us are spending 220, 250, you sir are at $1,500 an ounce. And even if you do this a second time, there's no way to get your money back. You can never catch up when you're spending eight times as much for the product. See here in a system like this, you're into it for a thousand and you're going to get a half a pound a month, a half a pound a month with a thousand dollar buy-in. That's eight out. You're at like $120 an ounce. You're already ahead of the game. You could sell the equipment and get your money back. <laughs> but when that guy called my store and tried to sell me some POS, one of these things, I don't even know what it was. Oh, that one's just an absolutely ridiculous. You can see just the, the why I would say no because here's a guy who spent seventeen hundred dollars and I'm not going to offer him forty. I might be able to part out that light and not that little hydro system, but I might be able to get sixty dollars for a light. I mean, there are fifty bucks for Mars POS on eBay anyway. So I don't know what the rest of it is. Maybe we could put like our clothes or something in the back when you come and take off your jacket. But there's no point in me even offering to buy this because I'm going to give him 20 bucks. And this fool probably spent 1700 here. And if he bought it on Craigslist, he probably spent three thinking the guy before him didn't know what he was doing. But I just, you just got to love this one. This one here. There's not even a veg space. So you go into flour, you take them out of here and veg. You go into flour, you take some clones, and you put them back up here. Now, just follow along. Flour is eight weeks. So I don't know what's going to grow up here for eight weeks when this was a four-week veg before it flowered. And this is a four this is a four-week veg for this guy. That was a four-week veg for this guy. So here's a four-week veg. And now here's a system where you just have to ask, where would you put a four-week veg? Because the, according to this system, you veg, according to this system, you take your cuttings, you put them here, and then you veg here. So this is saying that this much space is required for a veg, because remember, you got six weeks to go. You put them down here for two to three weeks. You got five to six weeks up here. If this is five to six weeks, then, then your plant's going to finish this big. If it finishes that big, um, how would you put two plants in here? But more importantly, if you have a 12 week flower, 12, four week veg, eight, eight week flower, if you have a 12 week cycle at 35 Watts a week, you're at 420 Watts and it requires a two by four space, five feet deep. The longer the veg, the bigger the plant. And the more the light, the bigger the space required. So basically when you buy a system like this, what you've bought is first gear. And then when you shift into second, it turns out it's first gear again. And then when you shift into third, it turns out it's first gear. And then you shift into fourth and it's first gear. And then you shift into fifth, it's first gear. And then you shift into flower sixth gear and you're at 200 watts because if this here is first gear for your cuttings, man, this ain't that much bigger. It's just not, I mean, it's just, okay. So you, you shift into first gear and then you shift into second and you are going to be in second gear for the next five, six weeks. How can you put that many plants in that space with a five week veg. You can't put one plant in that space because when you look at the videos that I make for you, this is a plant with a five week veg. And it was so big, we had to trim it back into this. We had to put it in a little tent and trim it back into this with a five week veg. So you, yeah, gotta love that. So this is a five week veg. Where are you going to put that in one of these systems? Because, oh, bummer. 
Okay, so here again, five-week veg. How are you going to put that in here? And they have four plants. And what was that other thing? Oh, yeah, hydro grows faster than soil. So you have less light. Well, can't do the veg on this one. So you, ha you have to, in this one, you have to start from cuttings. So you have to be somewhere where cuttings are legal because there's no place to put a seed in this. Okay, look how close together those are. So again, I'm sure that's going to be cannabis. What? No, not cannabis, because lettuce doesn't grow. Lettuce is like 23, 30 days start to finish. Lettuce is like an autoflower. And an autoflower would be great for a system like this, right? You would start it and it would flower. A real short veg time, but you can't put eight of them in here. And see what I'm saying? And so you would have to put two autoflowers in here. But how would you put a seed in hydro? You wouldn't. <laughs> that veg area, after all this, it, all you could do would be to start a clone for three days before you transfer them to flower. So you go into flower. <clears throat> now you've got eight weeks in veg. They don't even have the same number of of starts in veg. So if you if this was the cuttings, when you went into flower, you would take 48 cuttings. And then when you started veg, you would keep eight of them. So why do you have 48 of them? Maybe I got it wrong. Maybe you take eight cuttings and then after they root, you put them in here and you just leave 40 of them empty. When I say 99% of people fail, it's because you don't stand a chance. You're going to do your research and you're going to come up with what everybody that calls my hotline comes up with. And it's always the same thing. You look at the manufacturer site and they're telling you to put a light two feet over your plants. But if you have a 600 watt light, two feet over your plants and a 600 watt light requires a four by four space, how is it going to make the angle when it's this far away? And if these guys are telling you that their lights belong two and a half feet away from the plant when it gets started or two feet away from the plant, if they're telling you by selling you this equipment that it's supposed to be two feet away, I just always have to ask you, how come these guys that are good, how come these guys that are good don't put their light away? How come these guys don't put their light five feet away? Because that's not how cannabis grows. So if you put your light that close and you have that much wattage, you don't stand a chance. So literally the manufacturers are lying to you in the shit that they're selling you, which is why I tell you the number one best way to fail is to spend more money on equipment that doesn't work. Because if you spend $6,000 on this, you have failed spectacularly. You spent more, you're going to get nothing, and you stand no chance of success. Sorry to bust your bubble. All right, I'm the Grow Boss, and I want you to be successful. And if you have any questions, you can always call my hotline. It's an hour. It's $49. I can straighten out your garden problem. I do about 10 of these a week. We talk direct. You can email me pictures. And of course, if you want to buy the awesome Club 15 shirt because you're knocking it out of the park, they're 20 bucks on my site. And right now there's a holiday deal. You can get a garden tracker or a 20 week journal for free. And when you go shopping, remember, always shop local and try to buy my sponsors and my advertisers, Humboldt Nutrients, Plant Success, Nickel City, right? Great White Microbes, Vortex. These are the number one products that are really gonna help your plants grow. Provided you didn't buy one of these things you're gonna fail in. If there's anything I can do, this is Cannabis Hotline. Soon I'll be taking calls. I'm the Grow Boss. Don't forget to get your copy of the Grow Book and Equipment Guide because I actually own a hydro store and I know every way you're going to fail. And if you want, I've got these super fun No More Grow More Fat Cards with questions on one side and answers on the other. And since I already know every way you're going to fail, if you're looking to be successful, you got to start with the right equipment. All right. Thanks for watching.